All right, so we're here at Laney uh, College, and so um, tell us, uh, introduce yourself, please. Uh, my name is Danny Beasley. I've got a company called Idea Builder Labs, and I help uh, schools and community institutions develop maker spaces and fab labs. Awesome. Uh, tell us about the fab lab here. Uh, the fab lab here at Laney is an idea that started about five years ago. Uh, it took quite a while to get uh, together, uh, but now we've been in full operation for about five months at this point. Uh, and it is an open lab that is available to all students on campus to come in and utilize for creative purposes as well as their own projects. Great. And so one of the projects you guys are working on is a tiny house project. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we recently got a grant from the City of Oakland to develop a mass manufacturable tiny house. Uh, for the last three years, we've been building tiny houses. Um, it's a bit of a trend, and uh, we have a carpentry program, and that's been uh, some a few of the classes' focus. Um, and uh, we have continued on that project, and uh, uh, now we're looking to do a CNC flat pack version. Uh, something that we can actually email out and uh, someone else can produce it just as long as they have access to a CNC machine. So we're prototyping that process over the next uh, about six months and then we'll be building prototypes after that. So in addition to uh, a lot of the digital fabrication that you guys are doing here, I know that you've done a, you've used some immersive technologies in the past like uh, virtual reality and augmented reality. And So um, how, how do these technologies help what it is that you're doing here at the Fab Lab? Uh, well, in general, it, it always helps uh, students better visualize the projects. Um, we'd love to see uh, the use of these tools become kind of more ubiquitous in industry so that we can further justify the use of them uh, in, in our spaces and, and for education in general. Great. And so um, what, what are some things that uh, you'd like to see next steps for the technologies with what it is that you're doing? Uh, so first... First and foremost, I'd like to see industry using it more so that it, it becomes a, a demand of us to do it rather than us kind of exploring in the future. Um, but I would, you know, obviously the both AR and VR have huge implications for both industry but education as well. Um, and so just seeing the tracking technology get better, seeing the resolution get better, and really making these tools um, work you know, better for students or, or for users who've never used them before and really getting that wow factor from the, the, the second they put it on rather than, well, this is kind of cool, but it doesn't feel right or it makes me sick or you know, things like that. So awesome. just seeing better accuracy, which would uh, help us improve the, uh, the use of those tools dramatically. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Danny, and great work here. Cool. Thank you.